Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the gift pack and when and how you should go about buying them. Now the gift pack is quite interesting because retailers like Walmart, Target, and most importantly GameStop have tons of these boxes and they take a lot of storage. Focusing on GameStop for a moment, you I see these at every single GameStop and GameStop often has half off deals, buy one get one free. And at $19.99, half off means it's $9.99, which is actually very good when you break it down. The reason that GameStop is always having these sales is unlike Walmart and Target, they can hold on to the product longer, although self space is quite valuable in those areas as well. GameStop is small. They're very small stores. They can't just have all of this and the Pokemon gift boxes and have it takes up too much space. So they're always having discounts on these larger products that have low low MSRPs. In the same space, they could have a $60 Xbox One game times 10. So I'm actually excited to hear about the updated gift pack because I know that this gift pack will go on sale for half off on maybe Walmart. Walmart does the price match, but definitely on GameStop. Uh, GameStop will certainly have a buy one, get one out off sale eventually. And this is the exact product that they're trying to move. You are gonna see a ton of this product and that's great because you can go to that GameStop, buy all of them and feel like you made out with a good deal. So the gift pack now looks even bigger. I'm sure that's going to help GameStop, motivate GameStop to try to sell it even faster. And now has a few different packs. It is $19.99. It has the five lands as well as the five promos, which you can play in standard. Let me repeat that again. They are very akin to Nexus of Fate. Now these promos are horrifically bad as we're going to look at them. But in the future, could there be a promo that was a tiny bit pushed to help in sales? I could see that happening. And I could see that happening relatively soon. Remember the Sun Speaker the Fire Song and Sun Speaker, that was very weak. That's kind of like this version. But then the next one, Nexus of Fate, was a $40 card. So in the gift pack, you have five exclusive to just the gift pack that have the M19 that you can play in standard. Not that you would, but you could. It has four core sets, so it has four booster packs, which is important because at $10, that's $250 at Booster Pack, which is really good. Plus, you get five promos and five land and a spin down dice. I will guarantee you this thing is going to go on sale for half off at GameStop during some time of its life. It has all the markings of a product that GameStop somehow purchased and then they regretted they purchased it and now they got to get rid of it and tried to uh, purchase something else. One of the really marquees of the gift pack, a lot of people ask me like, how do you determine if a card is good or not good? And how do I determine it? You can get, if you can get, let me use the analogy. If you can get Dragon Maze for $10, a booster box, it's a good deal. If you can get it for 80, it's no longer a good deal. Whether or not you should buy a product or spec in the product has nothing to do with its current price. It has everything to do with the future price. I'm specking that this product will, it will go on sale. And when it does go on a sale at $10, half off, you are looking at a, and you can actually get more discounts like PowerPoints. There's more discounts available probably pushing it down to $9 maybe. This will be one of the best products for you to buy. Uh, 
It's four booster packs, five promos, five foil lands, a dice for ten dollars. It's good. So it does not matter the price today is nineteen ninety nine. I can guarantee you the future price will be nine ninety nine or less, depending on your gift cards. Now the cards in it are quite bad. They're very basic cards and they're very easy to understand. So it's not like taking extra turns, which depending on the meta could be really good. It's more like these cards will always be just meh because they're very, very well understood mechanics at this point in time. And do I see any of these cards being valuable? No, I, I do not. I like any magic product at the right price. And that's the key, at the right price. You could sell me a Modern Masters booster box of 2017 was a really good set, but if it's too high, I'm not interested. And But Masters uh, 25 at the right price, which right now it's 150, I think that's a good price. I am interested. It's not that I think Masters 25 is better than Master, uh, Modern Masters there's so many Modern Masters. 2017, I don't. No one would say, say that. But I think 2017 is a little too high. And Ma Masters 25 is a little too low. So these land, they do look very good. Uh, what is the long-term collectability of these land and or promos? I think the promos have very limited collectability to none. Uh, I think the land do have... Right now, the original gift box lands are around $0.50 cents to a dollar a piece. So they don't add that much value to it. But if you can get 20 of them or 30 of them for EDH, 40 of them, it would be best to keep them together. Uh, you don't want to separate them. You don't want to trade them in, as singletons. You want to keep them together because that's what people want for their EDH decks. I think 19.99 is very expensive and not worth it. So it breaks down to about five bucks a booster pack or four dollars a booster pack, one dollar a or fifty cents a promo. So that's not too bad. Uh, Sixteen dollars in packs uh, and then four dollars in or five dollars in promos. Very close, and then a free dice. I don't know. I, I know. I know for a fact this is the exact product that that looks good on GameStop, but then GameStop will get a new product, and then the product will go on sale. Now, the timing of when it goes on sale also is very important because the packs actually have value. So, like the 2017 gift pack, it's based on the Amarket set, therefore. Our Devastation Armor Ket Ixlon rotation is happening. I would not be shocked for you to see this at $9.99 very soon again. Or buy one, get one free. Because any extra inventory of this should... It has to move. Because rotation is upon us. And if it doesn't move, no one's going to buy this. Uh, this is an introduction pack for grandmothers to buy their grandsons. And that the grandsons want to play standard, right? They want to have cards they can use. Uh, these cards are totally unusable in modern, so the only format they can be used in, minus ED8s, is standard. Therefore, when they rotate out, you are looking at some uh, a scenario where it's bad. It's very bad for the value. So I expect these to go on sale. Now, would I buy them upon rotation at $10? I would. I honestly would because uh, if, the, if I know something about product, it is sealed product typically always goes up in price because people like to gamble on it. People like opening sealed product that is a little older. This is a cheap introduction to it at $10. People need their uh, gambling addiction. <laughs> It's so funny that I, um, I'm the one talking about gambling addiction, right? But anyway, that is my point. I think the gift packs are actually a good value should they go on sale and when they go on sale. Just keep an eye out for them. 
because uh, you'll get four core sets, which again is not the best set, but the promos and the foil lands and the fact that it's only 250 a pack, keep your eyes out for it. Don't miss the opportunity because the opportunity is coming soon. Just make sure that you keep your eyes out. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.